Welcome back to another part of the Snowcat build. Today I'm going to be working on putting body panels on the machine. Uh, I accidentally screwed up and I lost some of the footage uh, of the starting of this work where I cut out these strips of 100 thou uh, 5052 aluminum uh, and had temporarily clamped them on the machine and through drilled all the holes while it was in place the first time. Uh, at this point in the process I've already gone by and tapped the holes in the machine and drilled out the holes in the body panel to a larger size to allow the screw to go through. So I'm just going to back step, show you a little bit of that process. I didn't get to start it how I exactly wanted to, but there's a lot of footage to come and uh, the video is going to show a lot of progress. So keep watching, see how it's done, and uh, we'll have some fun. That's awesome. There, I got them all drilled out. And you can see, nice. Torque screw in there. First body panel on. Back to the bender. Okay, we're gonna work on bending uh, back side panel. need a little more. So this has been my habit to the body panels, kind of, you know, rough shape them to fit. Come on in and lay out my lines for all the holes. I'm really happy with that. That is looking very nice. Gonna be kind of like a Cybertruck snowcat. again. Um, I just moved along, did the other side here. Um, I, it's pretty repetitive. I didn't think you really cared to see all that. Um, I'm going to start working on the passenger side here, uh, the rear part. There isn't going to be a door here. It's only going to be a three-door vehicle. So in order to bring this sheet down, uh, I need a strip to, to screw into here to kind of keep the same pattern. So I'm going to add in a small piece of angle here, I'll stitch weld it in, and then this is all going to be sealed off with sealer when we put the body panels on for a final time. So let's get that tacked in place.
Well, I just want to give you a view here. It's starting to come together. We got this uh, side strip on, and I'm really happy with how that went. Uh, I'm going to wait on the back for now because the 3 16 belly pan, I might roll up, and this might all be 3 16 because there's a bunch of stuff that's going to mount on the back and a receiver hitch in that. So I'll leave the actual body panels for here. And I'm going to start cutting out this section now. I'm gonna, so it's just a rectangle. It's going to be pretty easy. I'm going to get it cut out. I'm going to uh, lay it out like I did these bottom panels. You'll see that. And then uh, we'll drill it all out. And then I'm going to mark the rough opening and figure out the spacing I need and cut out the window opening. And, I mean, it's really going to start looking like something once we get that together. So it's going really good. Okay, let's find some clamps and uh, see this thing come together. Uh, outside. Let's mark that window uh, cut out now. big side window in here. Something like that. This is going to be cool. I'm really excited. back in because it's so much fun to do so but uh, let's mark the template of the back window as well so just sort of a maximum boundary I figure I'll probably cut it a little short on the sides maybe about out to here and then a little closer on the top and bottom Something like that. All right, cool. Okay. 
I just found something that I like the radius of, and I'll probably use this for most of the windows. Again, this is where this uh, long tip marker really comes in handy. All right, I'm gonna cut those out with the zip cut and then uh, use the chops off the rest. really good and the lighting might be a little hard with it being so bright outside but uh, I have it all laid out clamped on nice big passenger window there that's gonna be awesome I'm really uh, excited about that hopefully we can get the same size window on the other side but I'm gonna go ahead and get this all drilled and get a few screws in it to hold it in place so uh, pretty repetitive I'll show you a few but um, yeah, it's coming along. I'm gonna have to roll this outside and take a nice uh, walk around of it. I think it's gonna look cool.